Greyhound Friends is replacing their 15-year-old kennels after being required to do so by the State Department of Agricultural Resources. Well, Greyhound Friends um, has been in Hoppington since May 1st, 1987. And we had an old kennel for a long, long time until 2003. And then we were able, through a big bequest and a big mortgage, to build this kennel. So it was built in 2003. But uh, the there needed to be renovations. Uh, the Department of Agricultural Resources was indicating uh, things that needed to be fixed. So rather than just do piecemeal, little by little by little, it made sense to do everything quickly, as quickly as possible. And so we're redoing all of the inside, uh, which is expensive, but it needed to be done. So we're doing everything we can to get it done um, and get, it, uh, get things back to normal. Basically just rip everything down. Uh, take all the cages back out and uh, sand them all, uh, repaint them with uh, rust inhibitor paint, uh, restretch all the cages with uh, heavy duty fencing, nine gauge fencing, and then bolt them all back up together again. We're using uh, heavy, heavy duty uh, poles rather than fencing poles, they're actually uh, electrical poles because the gauge is a lot thicker because, uh, you know, they just rust out too fast from the dogs, so these last a lot longer. Louise mentioned that Greyhound Friends have received a lot of help in getting the repairs finished. Greyhound Friends has gotten a lot of support from uh, people who are on our board, uh, people who've adopted, people in the community. I mean, one of the tricky things was we have to have the dogs not be here while the renovations are happening. So uh, people have been helping with fostering or transferring to other shelters or in some cases boarding dogs. Uh, but there's about a lot of interest and a lot of, uh, a lot of support. Um, like the person who's doing the painting has contributed um, the paint and uh, he's, another person is helping to pay the painter who's doing it. Uh, it's, you know, and Kevin Samard who's doing the, uh, the construction work is, uh, a local person who's been really, really helpful with this. Local builder Kevin Samard mentioned that there is a good amount left to do at the kennel. Uh, yeah, just local guy, local builder, and I built the kennel with a partner 15 years ago. And now, because of all the dogs, we're going to rebuild it just about. Cages and everything. Got to redo the cages for rust and, and uh, damage, so we're rebuilding them all. Ooh, we've been here two weeks with uh, Five guys every day, we've probably got maybe another couple of weeks, maybe three. Uh, the renovations I'm hoping will be done in another, like maybe 10 days. They, we have to put up uh, all new fencing inside and people don't put up fences in New England in the winter. So we had to get the fencing from Texas. So it took a while for that to get here, uh, but it's coming along. So, uh, you know, we just wanted to have the workers come in and keep working. I mean, if they had to stop, then they'd have to go and find other other work to do. And we really just wanted to, to keep it going. So it's going. And if someone wanted to help out, how could they do that? Well, uh, Greyhound Friends is a nonprofit. We certainly, it's, we're raising money to pay for this. I mean, if people wanted to make a financial donation, that would be wonderful. Um, you know, we always are looking for the things that are on the kennel wish list, which is on our website. Uh, lots of times it's basic uh, cleaning supplies, dog food. And uh, this is a, a lot of ways a volunteer organization. So if people can look on the website or they can call and uh, we can uh, tell you what we need. And if anybody gives us something that we can't use, we give it to another shelter.